Hey there crew, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today for another weekly Plan With Me video. If you're new here, I wanna say welcome. The way that we do the platform is we focus on a minimalist approach first inside of our bullet journal, and then towards the end, we add the twist. And that's where we're gonna add in some a little bit of extra fun. So if you're looking for a minimalist approach, this first part of this video is going to be for you, and it's for everyone. And then if you're looking to have some fun and we've got some stamps and we have some ink this week that we're going to be using, you're gonna to wanna to hang out for the twist as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our minimalist setup. All right, this week, back instead of my rocket book, I love using this thing. I worked a little bit ahead just so we can move these videos along a little bit faster in the future. But one of my favorite parts of doing these is telling you how I set up my pages. So I'm currently inside of a B5 Archer and Olive Doc Grid notebook. And this is a bit bigger than your normal A5, but this general layout can work for you as well if you're in an A5 or a square or a different size. You might just have to adjust your measurements a little bit. In the back of my notebook, I actually have a really fun grid spacing cheat sheet, I call it, and this really helps me visualize how I'm going to set up my page. Now, if you're interested, I do have a freebie for you that you can download. I'll put the link for you in the descriptions below, and then I'll actually set you up for an A5, a B5, and also a square notebook as well. So you can start to take some of these for yourself and adjust them for the size of your notebook. So I am going to do a double page spread. So two pages here on the left hand side of my page is going to follow kind of a pretty standard setup that I have over here. Uh, this is to create three columns on your page. Because of the way that this is set up, it's 32 squares across this page. 30 is a nice easy number. I like to do what I call easy math. So I break up these columns into 10 squares and I just leave one extra open square on each side. So I've done that over here for us. So we've got one square, 10, 10, 10 with one. And all of these lines will connect. So I'm not going to leave any gaps in between my squares this week. Down here on the bottom, I'm just gonna continue those lines down, but I'm not gonna add a topper to them. It's just a really nice, fun visual way to kind of keep drawing things down. But this is where I'll keep my notes and my tasks and things like this as I work throughout. So this becomes a little bit more of like a daily space for me. Over on the right-hand side, I'm following a very similar path, except I'm only going to get to five days for this week. I'm going to focus on weekend events and things like that in a different spot moving forward, at least in the immediate future, and shot some of those things down. So by having a Monday through Friday, this leaves a whole extra open space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip two squares here. So it breaks the pattern just a little bit, which will give me eight squares over on the left hand side. We're going to do a few things over here this week. First, we're going to keep that reflection space open over here. I really love doing this each week. It's a practice that I really come to love uh, and, and it's helpful for me to kind of rethink the past week and look forward to this one. And then this section over here is going to be where I'm going to do some trackers this week. I'm a big fan of sleep trackers. I feel very strongly that the amount of sleep you get really kind of shows what your week is going to look like. So if I'm feeling like crap, midway through the week, maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Uh, the other one is going to be exercise. This is something that I'm trying to be better at. I don't do an overboard of trackers for workouts. I find them to actually be quite intimidating, which makes me then not want to work out as much. So I'm just gonna focus on steps and kind of general activity. I'll be using my Apple Watch to help track a lot of that for myself this week. And I'll show you a really nice minimalist way to set that up. Let's go ahead and talk materials for the minimalist layout here because we got a whole lot of other stuff that we'll be doing in the twist. But for this week, I'm using a pencil. Any type of pencil will do. This one doesn't have an eraser on it, so I'm a big fan of the Tombo Mono erasers. This is probably the best eraser out there, at least ones that I've used. I love using this guy so much. We're also going to be using two different pit artist pens. I feel like we do this every week, right? We have an extra small one that we're going to use for some of the smaller lines and lettering, especially over in the tracker section here. And then we'll use this medium size for all of our lines across the page. I'm going to do a lot of my titles, especially for the days of the week inside of the twist. I have some fun stamps that I'm going to use this week. But if you are setting up that minimalist layout, you can simply write the days of the week in the top as well as the date if you want to. I'll only be creating headers for the tracker section over here. Everything else this week will be done in ink in the twist. 
I've gone ahead and I've marked in pencil all of my spacing across my page. I am a big fan of pencils first before ink, especially so you don't make mistakes. And if you do, at least you're making them in pencil and you can erase them easily. So I've got my three column section here with my space, and then I'm just gonna draw those straight lines down here. Over here, I've gone ahead and marked out the 20 spaces that we're going to need for these two columns. And I've left this open space over here and just penciled in my trackers. I do that a lot for the trackers because because I want to make sure that they fit in the space. There's nothing worse than being like, oh, a tracker will go here and then figuring it out later. We're going to be doing a line chart for my sleep tracking, which I have down over here Monday through Sunday. And then I have between four hours and 10 hours. It's kind of the median space where I usually get enough sleep. And then for exercise, I'm just going to break this down into cells essentially we're going to be doing monday through sunday and i'll be setting up just these rows where i'll track how many steps or how much activity i got that week let's go ahead and start off by drawing in all of our lines across the page we'll talk through it and then we'll move into the twist We've gone ahead and set up all of our basic lines. So I'll have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here. This will be for overall events. These will be for notes and tasks. Now I'm gonna move over to the right-hand side and I'm going to switch pen. So we're going to go from the medium to the extra small. I really, really like those fine details, especially when we come over here. I'll be setting up the titles for my tracker sleep as well as exercise and then filling out this grid down here and kind of setting this up. We'll take a look at that and then we'll move into the twist next. We have our entire tracker section now filled in. If you haven't used any type of trackers before, maybe you're just getting into it. I'll just show you real quick how I like to use my sleep tracker. It's just a really easy line graph, essentially. A lot of what I do is just visual data representation. It's really nice and easy. So what I'll do is each day when I wake up, I'll wake up Monday and I'll track how much sleep I got from the night before. So if I'm going from Sunday into Monday, and let's say that I got six hours of sleep, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna just line up and I'm going to draw a point for six and then I can connect it over here. And then I'll do the same thing for Tuesday. Let's say I get seven and I'm just creating these line charts across just to give a really cool visual representation. Down for the exercise section here, all I'm really gonna focus on here is going to be for each of the days of the week. I'm gonna add the days of the week in with some stamps and the twists in just a second, but I'll also just write down the amount of steps that I got that day whatever that might be, nice and easy. All right, so we got all of that in here, so it's time to move into the twist. So this is where we start to add in some fun things. I've got stamps, I've got ink. Do I have anything else fun? All of those are the fun things. So let's go ahead and get into it. How many little stamps are you gonna do? <laughs> I always love that little sound bite. My brother did that as a joke. Uh, I have a reel where he made fun of one of my podcast episodes that I did. And um, he talked about the importance of, you know, how many little stamps are you gonna use? And I thought that was so hilarious. This week we're using a lot of stamps. So that's usually how you know we're gonna be using stamps or when I include Joey in a, a little sound bite there for these videos. So we're going to be using a few different types of stamps. I'm really excited to be using the Archer and Olive stamps. This came with the most recent subscription box and I'm thrilled to be using them. We've got letters and alphabets. I also have these wonderful endless stamps from Sambi. I love these stamps so much because they click together. So they have this kind of male and female prong area here. You pop them together and then you can stamp and it keeps your stamp together, which is super nice. I really love that. So we'll be using that for the dates during this week as well. I brought out my swatch book because we've got some brand new inks that I just added to the swatch book. I'm so excited about this. So uh, our buddy Eric Gamma, he has a shop and it's called Amarillo Stationery. And I was just looking on there the other day and he had this awesome ink storage box and inside came little inks. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for this. So we have five different colors that are in here and I fell in love with this Terra Colorado color right here. It's like a brown reddish color. I think it is perfect. And then I also have this beautiful Ray Jaguar, which I don't know if you'll be able to really see it, maybe a little bit 
it has this nice little like uh, shimmer to it. It looks beautiful on the page. We'll be using that for our titles over here this week. Um, just just love just using this in a few little spots for like notes and things like that. So there'll be more like little accent colors this week. Um, oh, I took this out to show you the colors. <laughs> so uh, the Terra Colorado has this beautiful color here. I almost used this uh, Cardonia one. It's the same thing. It has like red, pink, and then a shimmer to it, but we're gonna skip that this week. And then this is gonna be that Ray Jaguar that we saw. Loving the way these look. I don't have anything like these, so excited. We'll be using the glass dip pen for this, so hopefully you got to watch my ink video with my daughter Viv. She picked out this glass pen, and I'll be using it this week just for some of those titles around on the pages. Ink-wise, especially for the stamps, we are going to be using the Versifying Clara ink. I love this. This is in the twilight blue. Uh, it's just a perfect color for what we're doing. I'm also going to try out the Archer and Olive ink. This came with this ink set. It has this beautiful like bronzy gold color to it. I love it. Um, for the titles this week, I just got this not that long ago from the Moose Splice. This is uh, my one of my favorite brands from Desk Gems that I purchase a lot of my stands from, um, has these really cool looking minimalist frames. So we are going to be using this one over here on the left hand side. We'll be putting the day of the week and then the date down here. And I think it'll frame these up really nicely. If you're new to using clear stamps, you do need to have an acrylic block and that way you can stick the stamp to it and then stick it down on the page. So let's go ahead and start with that first. We'll do all of our stamping first, then we'll go in with our final details with the ink today. I'm really excited for this. These stamps come and go so quickly on the Desk Gems website, but if you're interested, I'll put the links for you in the descriptions below for this one. I just love this brand. I have so many of theirs in my collection now. Like every time I see a new one, I'm like I must have this, I need to have it, uh, and I buy it. Um, you can also get a little bit of a discount over at Desk Gems too with my link below. So if it's something that you're interested in, by all means, definitely use it. All of the frames are in here for us now, so we're ready to go. So I'm going to be doing the days of the week in the top portion of these, and then I'm going to be doing the number dates in the bottom here. I just noticed I was just ever so slightly off over here on Friday. It'll work out okay. Fridays aren't usually as busy as the other days of the week, so we'll be all right. It's the hardest part with stamps sometimes, I'll tell you, is like getting them right on the pages. For the days of the week, we're going to be using these Archer and Olive stamps here. These just came out in the most recent subscription box that I actually still think is available. Uh, if you want to head over to archerandolive.com and check out their Forest Heirloom, I think was the name of it. I haven't used these yet, so some of them are still um, kind of stuck together. So we do have to kind of pull them apart a little bit. They're like little perforated sticky goos on there. But we will be setting up our week. So we need Monday. And these are gonna get all messed up. It's just, it's the hard part about these. <laughs> Tuesday, I'll reset the alphabet afterwards. Wednesday, we'll reuse that for Thursday. And then we need our F for Friday. Then I'm also going to use those same stamps over here. So we'll get a little double stamp out of that. And so I'm also going to need the S for Saturday and Sunday because I am tracking that over here on this side. All right, let's see what this ink looks like on here. I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't tried it yet. All right, for the next part, we're going to be using these endless stamps from Sambi. So as I mentioned, I love these because they click right together. So it keeps them nice and put together. And then we'll be using the blue ink again from Versafine to add these right here to the bottom of each one of those frames. All right, the last thing that we're going to be doing here is just adding in some of this ink. So I'm just gonna do a small title over here for task and notes. That'll just kind of cover this whole section here. And then we'll be using the Ray Jaguar over here for reflection. I'm going to be using this glass dip pen here. This is just a really nice and easy way to add things to your page with ink without having to worry about fountain pens. When you dip your pen in, all the inks gets caught up inside of these rungs. And then you write just like a normal pen. So we're going to be using this Terra Colorada I'm so nervous because the bottle is so little. Hopefully the tip of this will fit inside of here. Yep, we're good. Oh, 
All right, go ahead and make sure those inks are nice and tight. But how cool is that? I love that. Links in the description below for you as well here. So that's going to be everything for this week. I'm loving the way this looks. I love when I end up loving what I do. You know, how often does it really ever happen for us where we're like, yes, my idea worked itself out. I'll get rid of that after that ink dries. So our overview Monday through Friday here with overall events at the top, we have task and notes section down here below reflection section just a real quick look back on this past week and then we also have our tracker section for sleep and also for exercise this is super fun thank you for hanging out with me today again all of the links and all of the discount codes for any of the products we use are going to be down in the descriptions for you below thank you so much for hanging out today and have a wonderful week